Hi guys, Chris here from USP Marine Tuning. Today we're gonna to be going over our installation of the USP high flow intake pipe. I would say set aside about probably 20 minutes or so if it's your first time doing this installation. Uh, so we're gonna go through all the steps you need to get it done. Uh, as far as tool wise, uh, it's pretty basic hand tools are needed. You're gonna need a seven millimeter, an eight millimeter, and also a 10 millimeter socket. Either quarter inch or three eighths will work. Uh, I'm, I'm cheating a little bit. I'm using one of the snap-on guns, so that way it makes it a little bit a uh, little bit faster. Uh, you also need a pair of pliers, and this is going to be able to get the factory Odinger clamp off the bottom throttle body boot. So we're going to go ahead and start with that. So if you can see the once you locate your uh, intake intake muffler here, you'll see it is attached with a uh, five sixteenth or eight millimeter up top here. Here's your one-time use clamp. You're going to have to either cut or break off. And then you also have a eight millimeter here that is holding it onto the front of the supercharger. Uh, so first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and take a pair of pliers. Uh, a little trick with these clamps is you can kind of squeeze them and it will go ahead and fall right off. Okay, these are one-time use clamps. Once you do that, you take your eight millimeter so you can get your mounting bolt off. And you can also double up this eight millimeter and use it to pull the clamp off. So this, sometime this, this is a little hard to get out because there is some blue Loctite on it. So you might not want to use a gun the first time you want to get off. Use your uh, a set, a set of, um, or use your uh, ratchet to get it off. So as well as taking the eight millimeter, go ahead and buzz in this clamp off. Once you buzz that clamp off, it's essentially free. This part here will pop up. This is just on little rubber tabs. So you can go ahead and pop that up and then that easy to remove it. Now. The insulation is exactly the reverse. Uh, essentially what you want to do is you want to take your, your billet uh, aluminum adapter here and you can spray some silicone if you have any available to you. This definitely will come in handy. Spray a little bit on there, kind of rub it around. This will go ahead and you can see it'll drop right in nice and clean. Uh, and this, uh, you can see the flow is pretty, uh, is pretty smooth here. That was one of the main goals we have instead of it hitting a wall. Uh, after that, the silicone will also be your friend when it comes to installing this. Since this is going over silicone, it is tight because you want to be able to have it free uh, to where you want to uh, locate to install it so you can put it on there. So what I simply do is put a little silicone, rub my finger all the way around this, and that way this is nice and lubed up so it will slide over this. That way you can get your logo facing straight out. Okay, as you can see, it goes on there pretty freely and slides. Now, you will need the factory uh, you will need the factory part that you just removed uh, because there is one piece on there that you need for the mounting hardware. Uh, so if you look here, you have a little tab here with a rubber grommet that you're gonna go ahead and remove and pull out. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get out. Once you get that out, that is gonna slide in just like factory here. So you can go ahead and squeeze it, put it inside here, and it will pop in just like so. Once you do that, the part with the shoulder will go ahead and pop through the back so it looks just like it did on factory, okay? So silicone lube, once again, just put a little bit on the inside of each the top and the bottom. That way it's just a little easier for when you're installing it. Simply slide it on, pop this on. It'll go nice and clean once it clicks on there, as you can see. Put your logo so you're facing straight out. And now that's the trick with the silicone is if you didn't have silicone on this, it'd be very hard to get this exactly where you want it. So once you got this into location, then you go ahead and take your factory screw with your eight millimeter, put it in there. Of course, you want to get a hand started first so you make sure that you're not going to strip it or anything. Once you get a hand started, you can go ahead and put it on there, tighten it. And then you got your 10 millimeter here as well. That's going to be your last thing you want to do. Once you get your clamps and everything straightened out, you go ahead and pop this back in place, get that where it has no stress on it. And you're gonna go ahead and take our high quality stainless steel uh, clamps that we provided. Uh, there'll be three of them in the box. So you'll be able to install one here, one there, and one up here. Once you're done with that, then you can go ahead and one 10, mil 10 millimeter nut uh, or, or uh, bolt, excuse me, uh, you go ahead and tighten that up. So I did leave the clamps off for a reason. I like to have the clamps off and position the clamps once I have it all together. That way um, I know which way I'm gonna put them on. I personally like to line them all up the same way. So that way I left them off so that way I can go ahead and put it on. 
and screw it on like so. That's why the snap-on comes in handy. So once you put it, that way you can get the clamp exactly where you want. So that way, this is on the inside, it's away from here. So that way the cover, it'll clear the cover. And the same thing up top, uh, you'd wanna put it right here, just a way you don't want it to rub on the supercharger or anything. Uh, so pretty much what I do is once I do that one, the second one will go right above it. And the third one will go on the same line so it looks nice and clean. Once I do that, I'll take the 10 millimeter, like I said, and you wanna screw this 10 millimeter down. Now, since this is just the mounting, you don't wanna slam this all the way tight because it will compress the silicone a little bit. But essentially what I do is I put it so it's nice and snug and so the back piece is locked in. Uh, to get a little better of a, uh, a handle on it, you could use a, a hand tool, the ratchet. So that way you can get a feel for how tight it really is to make sure that, straighten this out here. Now there's a piece in the back that you gotta line up because it slides in the groove. And you'll know how tight you need it. You'll see it start to squeeze just a little bit and that's about all you need. It's mounted, it is not going anywhere. It's secure with this four, uh, four ply silicone that is also, don't forget, wire reinforced. So that way this big throttle body down here, when it opens up, it sucks a lot of air. It is not going to collapse that hose whatsoever. So as you can see, it was a pretty simple install. I'm gonna continue and do the other three here. Uh, once you get done with it, there's really no maintenance or anything that needs to be done. Of course, save your factory in case you ever need to go back to the factory uh, and enjoy your sound. Uh, mainly, this opens up at about 5,000 RPM. You'll really hear your Mercury Rod will start to scream and uh, you know has that cool sound effect, which we all want. Thank you very much for watching this video.